you have a tree on your property that you're interested to know how old it is, but you don't want to cut it down to count the rings, well, there's an easier way to do it. It'll give you a decent estimate on how old the tree is without having to damage it at all. Now, this particular tree is a white oak tree. Now, it's only about 30 inches wide at breast height, and that may not be super impressive to folks that live out in the Pacific Northwest or other places where trees tend to get a lot bigger, but that's a pretty decent sized oak tree. Now, oak trees, or white oak trees at least, tend to have a fairly slow growth rate, so that makes this tree fairly impressive. So today I'm going to show you all how to get a decent estimate of how old this tree is just by just a little bit of simple math. So as we know, every plant is affected by its environment. This particular tree is situated in an area that's about 100 yards or less from a creek bottom, so it's got a pretty good amount of water to live off of. Uh, it's also planted in very rich, dark, loamy soil, so it's got a good nutrient base to deal with. Uh, there is some competition for sunlight. There's uh, quite a few trees around it. It's not a super dense area of the forest, but it is, uh, there is a little bit of competition for sunlight. On the other hand, it's very tall, so it's up there in the canopy where it's getting a good, a good healthy amount of sunlight now, but there's no telling exactly how much competition it had uh, previous to this. So taking all those factors into consideration, we always have to assume that this method is just a rough estimate of how old the tree is. So you want to start first by measuring the diameter of the tree. Now just taking a yardstick or a tape measure and stretching it across like this to try to figure out the diameter of the tree is going to be really, really inaccurate. So what you want to do is you want to take your tape and you want to try to find a spot on the tree that you can mount this to without damaging the tree and wrap this tape around the tree. This tree is very convenient because it's got a very small vine going up it, so we're going to use that vine to hook this tape onto. So here's our vine right here. What you want to do is you want to take your tape and flip it upside down because if you try to bend your tape back this way, uh, it's going to be stiff and it's just not going to do a very good job. So take your tape, flip it over. Now I realize not every tree is going to have a vine on it, but uh, you know, try to do the best you can with what you've got. Um, now another note, you're going to want to try to measure from an area that's about chest height on the tree. Uh, somewhere between four and a half and five feet will be just fine. So anyway, go ahead and stretch your tape out. Wrap it all the way around your tree. Try to pull it kind of tight to get all the, uh, all the slack out of it so you can get a more accurate measurement. And check what you've got. So that gives us about 99. I don't think I'm high enough on the tree though, so we're going to go a little bit higher and see what that gives us. So again, you're going to want to find the circumference of the tree first, and after that you can find your diameter. So you're going to want to start at a point that's about 5 feet high, so we're going to measure up 60 inches. And it's going to put us about right here. So let's go ahead and wrap this tape around the tree. It's best if you get somebody else to help you with this so they can hold the tape and you don't have to rely on little vines like this. But you just got to do what you can with what you got. All right, so our tape is wrapped around the tree. And we're going to tighten it a little bit to get the slack out of it again. And that's going to give us 96 inches. So once you figure out the circumference of the tree, you can figure out the diameter. So the circumference, if we're going to keep it on the conservative number, is going to be 96 inches. So you take 96 and divide that number by pi, which is going to be 3.14. Once you do that, you get 30.5. So now that you have the diameter of the tree, you can figure out the rel the uh, you can estimate the age of it. Now every tree, or most trees, they have figured out uh, has what you call a growth factor. The growth factor for white oak is five. Some trees are higher, some are lower. The trees with higher growth factors grow slower, while the trees with the lower growth factors grow faster. So white oak is five. If you take that number, 30.5, and multiply that by five, you come up with 152. So this tree is estimated to be about 152 years old. Now I would say that's probably reasonably accurate given the health of this tree and the area that this tree is in. Uh, seeing as how it's got a lot of good water and a lot of good nutrients to deal with. So I would say that's probably de uh, reasonably accurate. So that puts this tree as at being planted 
in about 1866. So that's pretty cool to me to, figure, to see that this tree is, uh, was planted in 1866 and it's been through all of these years and it's in such great shape now. But I hope that that video helps somebody. I really enjoy doing this with some of my trees just to figure out how old they are. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment and uh, make sure to like this video if you haven't already. And, um, uh, and that's all I've got. I will see you all next time.